42, 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, enduring the hard thing in such a way as to turn it to glory, appreciating and affirming life in the midst of suffering, waiting for the answers to emerge naturally like blossoms on an apple tree. Love is kind, food for the hungry, shelter for the homeless, medicine for the sick, encouragement for the dis disheartened. It is gentle yet strong. It is sensitive yet sturdy. Love is not jealous, it is courageous. Fearing no loss or separation, it is not needy. Love is not envious. It does not desire to possess what belongs to another, to the other's harm or hurt. Love is trusting and confident, poised. Love, therefore, is not boastful, arrogant, or rude. It is as gracious as a welcoming host and as appreciative as an honored guest. Love is not self-willed. Love forgoes its rights for the sake of gaining the rights of others. Love does not insist on its own rights if it harms or costs others their rights. Love knows that we are as small as the things we allow to bother us. Love is, therefore, not easily angered by every inconvenience, by the little things we allow to get in our way or annoy us. Love lets go of resentments rather than nurturing them. It finds no pleasure in keeping track of what our enemies owe for the pain they have caused us. And it finds no satisfaction when people act in ways that prove our negative judgment and estimations of them were correct. Love finds pleasure wherever truth, justice, and goodness show themselves in anyone's life, regardless of who that person is or what the circumstances may be. Love supports everything that makes life worthwhile. Love believes that the center of everything is absolutely good and trustworthy. That while the situation may not be trustworthy, the way is. Love knows that no person or situation is ever beyond redemption and is always open to being surprised by joy, by truth, by grace, for the way is a way of love and redemption. So said Paul, apostle, saint, mystic, and martyr.